I'm in the car today. I'm on the road. I'm doing stuff. I am out here, y'all. I'm out here. Lena, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today's vlog, Miss Lena, what are you doing? Where are you going? You're in the car today. You must be doing something. And I am. A friend from Florida is here visiting her family. I'm gonna go drive out to her mom's house to go say hi and you know hang out for a couple of hours. And then I'm gonna take my ass back home. So sorry if you hear the troubles that my car is having. And I oh have been filming, but I haven't been uploading everything consistently so i have like three vlogs to upload all at once so don't judge me at least they're coming out so like a few days ago i was really down really like not wanting to leave my bed and you know just <laughs> why are you crying struggling i'm still struggling but i'm still pushing through and i'm not letting any negativity stopped me from reaching my goals and to do the things that I want to do. <laughs> Got that blizzard on Tuesday of last week. And yeah, the snow has stuck around. But it's melting. It's melting. Basically, I am, um, I hate when I do this. I hate when I get on this camera and be like, okay, so basically, I fucking hate that I do that. I use like way too much and stupid terms, like basically, in the wrong context. I do. You stupid. This topic that I really wanna talk about really quick, humor is a lot of things for me. Humor is everything to me, actually. I use humor to get through everything in my life. Happy, sad, bad, it doesn't matter. So when I joke about this kind of thing, I hope it's not taken like, I don't care. Because I care so deeply. Even though I don't sit here and dwell on the fact that I was abused as a child, it's really, it's really hard. It's really hard to have to look myself in the mirror every day and to say that I love myself beyond the things that happened to me. So just saying that really quick, if you are a person that is hurting, it's okay to hurt, but there's a but there. Because it is okay to hurt, it's okay to hurt. You gotta hurt, you're going to hurt. It's not even sitting here saying like, I want you to hurt, no, but you're going to. And you might be right now. And if you are hurting right now, I just want you to know that I swear, I swear it gets better. It gets better because I'm looking and driving and going to my friend to see her. You know, she's about to give birth to twins. I never thought that would happen. Never thought I'd see myself hit the age of 21, let alone I'm about to be 25 next year. I tried suicide so many times and now I'm just sitting here driving, looking ahead of me and I'm like, it's like I almost wanna cry but I'm not going to because no, I'm not gonna do that. But I'm looking here ahead of me at this open road like life continues on. Construction going on or whatever, either you gotta do a detour you got to do a detour in life or you build that fucking road yourself. You build yourself the safety net you need to cross so that you can continue being the best version of yourself no matter what fucking happens. No matter what happens, okay? It's hard. It is hard out here to keep going. But I promise, I promise those storms are going to cease at some point. You are going to get to see clear skies one day clear skies that you would not see if you kill yourself today if you kill yourself tomorrow you're not gonna have it and it breaks my heart to know that people are struggling so hard right now that they don't even get to see their future and I was one of those people I'm not trying to cry but I was one of those people that didn't see it I didn't see it I didn't think that was beautiful I did not I still struggle with my looks because of what happened to me I can't, I can't accept myself all the way. And that's okay right now. I'm at a construction zone in my life. And I might have been at a construction zone for so long, but at least I've started building something and there's a road that I know that if there's no road right now in front of me, that I can build it regardless of what 
of what happens, but I can't do that if I sit here and talk about killing myself. It doesn't matter, it doesn't, it's not gonna help any situation. So I'm just really trying to promote positivity through my channel, and I just really hope that somebody can relate to that. And if you are struggling and you feel like you can't, you can't hold yourself accountable enough to not hurt yourself, then you need to get help. Whether you reach out to me, because I know some resources, y'all. Like I really had to reach out to people when I thought I was gonna kill myself. I had to, I had to, you know, be vulnerable. I had to let people know that I'm not okay and I got help. I got put in hospitals. It sucked. I couldn't have my phone. I couldn't have my phone. I couldn't have no interactions with people that I normally would interact with. But that wasn't a really a bad thing. It was not a bad thing. So, yeah, getting help seems really scary. But, y'all, it's way scarier to find out that you don't got no future because you killed yourself last night. Tomorrow next week because you're not gonna get help you gotta get help I was sitting here thinking about you know some heavy stuff about my life but I wanted to do this I wanted to just tell y'all because I was sitting here getting in my thoughts I was getting in my feelings I was like listening to a little bit you know I love in my feelings music I love Kiana Lede I love Summer Walker I love Savannah Christina I love all the people that be in their feelings Janae Ego. I love feelings but sometimes if you get too deep into those you'll start getting depressed start thinking about shit that you'll be like damn I can't believe I made it I don't even know how I made it through that shit like why did that even happen to me like you'll just start thinking all that negative stuff and then you just gotta like be stopped right there like as soon as you start realizing that you're getting down the negativity wave you gotta stop right there hold up hold up wait a minute it, let me put some positivity in it. Because that shit just will take you out. That shit will take you out. So yes, I was sitting here dwelling about um, me being molested by a grown ass man when I was a kid. Yep, I was thinking about it. And it hurts still to this day. And no, he never got in trouble for the shit because he had the best lie in the whole world. No proof. And it hurts because I know in my body and I know in my spirit what happened, but it doesn't matter because I cannot do anything about it. And sitting here wanting to kill myself over it is not going to solve anything. In fact, that probably will be what he wanted because he knows that that secret will go down. But I don't care. I'm not gonna let the negativity take me. And I hope you don't let your negativity take you. Sun's going down. You're not going to see me until the next vlog. <laughs> but it's Vlogmas, so that won't be that long. Are you sure about that? My car sounds so bad. My car sounds so bad. See y'all in my next vlog. I cannot promise you what it will be about. Because at this point, every day is a new adventure for me with this vlogmas. If y'all looking for consistency and like topics and shit, it's just not going to happen this way. I don't give a damn. It's not gonna happen, but it's okay. My impulsive creators and people that relate to me, they gon' they gon' they gon' pick it up. They gonna be just fine with how we rolling right now. This is Lena keeping it real while also keeping it lit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it found you um in a good place. And I was my next vlog. I know this video helps somebody. I know this video for facts is gonna reach the person it needs to reach and I put that on God's name that whoever needs to hear my voice and those words of encouragement find this video in good spirits and in good health. Amen.